to solve one step, two step, and multi step inequalities. x plus 2 greater than negative 3. You solve it just like an equation. You get the x by itself on the left. You keep what you have on the right. Move what's with the x by addition or subtraction to the right. Instead of plus 2, it becomes minus 2. So x is greater than negative 5. This is what you will turn in for your practice problems today. But for your homework, you will also graph it on a number line where 0 is in the middle. And you go back 5. If it's greater than or less than, you use an open dot. If it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you use a closed dot. If x is greater than negative 5, if x is greater than negative 5, then I need to go to the right. You go in the direction that the sign is pointing. If I picked out a number like negative 3, negative 3 is greater than negative 5, so it works out. So it's all of this area through here. You don't have to shade it in. x minus 6 less than or equal to 4. Keep the x on the left and the 4 on the right, but move this over and make it plus 6. x less than or equal to 10 is what you're turning in for your practice problems today, but to graph it, you make a number line with 0 in the middle, and 10 is on this side. It's going to be a closed dot because it's less than or equal to. It's pointing in this direction. So you go up and then over to the left. Don't make your graphs this short. Carry it all the way through. Keep your x on the left, and then the negative 4 on the right. Move this over, make it minus 7. x greater than negative 11. Leave the x on the left. x is left on the left, and then it'll be plus 3 on the right. So x less than or equal to 15. Negative x minus 3 greater than 5. Again, keep the variable on the left. So it's a negative x greater than 5, and this becomes plus 3 on the right. Simplify the right to get 8. What you have next to the x is really a negative 1. So you must divide both sides by a negative 1. When you do that, you're left with x and a negative 8, but any time you divide by a negative number in an inequality, you must flip the inequality sign so it points the opposite direction. x less than negative 8 is the answer for this one. Negative x plus 6 greater than or equal to 4. Keep your negative x on the left, 4 on the right. Move this and make it minus 6. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. You have a negative 1 beside the x, so you divide both sides by negative 1. <clears throat> so you're left with an x and a positive 2, but the inequality quality sign must flip since you divided by a negative. x less than or equal to 2. Negative x plus 7 less than 4. On this one, leave the negative x on the left-hand side and then move the plus 7 to the right, make it minus 7. That'll be a negative 3. Divide both sides by a negative 1. 
and you'll be left with x and a 3, but you need to flip the inequality sign. It should be pointing towards the 3. Negative x plus 10 less than or equal to 12. Leave the negative x on the left and the 12 on the right. Move this over, make it minus 10 and simplify the right to be 2. Divide both sides by negative 1 and flip the inequality sign. It should be pointing toward the negative 2. In this case you have negative 5 x plus 10 equals, or not equals, but greater than or equal to 25. So keep the negative 5x on the left and the 25 on the right. Move this and make it minus 10. 25 minus 10 is 15. Now you have something other than a negative 1. You still do it the same way. Divide both sides by the number that is with the x. Negative 5. So you're left with x and negative 3, but since you divided by a negative, you must flip the inequality sign. x less than or equal to negative 3.